Study basers. What is the real key to playing music? Confidence. Confidence is when you know what will come out of your instrument every time. It's trusting yourself. Confidence is the real thing that you're developing when you learn and practice. That is the pursuit. You won't really experience the true free flow of making music until you have confidence in your abilities. After you've proven to yourself, every time I play this major triad, it sounds the same. You trust yourself. No more attention needs to be paid. Whenever you need that major triad, it flows freely from your mind and fingers. Every technique, every song, every piece of music theory goes through this confidence developing process. Now, don't worry, I'm not saying that it will be years before you really make music. Your confidence starts building on the very first day. Every day that you practice, your confidence is inching forward a little bit, and it just keeps adding up. Now, what is it precisely that gives you confidence? Testing. Every practice, every run-through, every time that you play with other people, every time your knowledge is questioned is a test. You test yourself, experience it as right or wrong, good or bad, and your level of trust in your abilities adjusts itself. Every new thing you do, play, or learn is a test until it's so deeply learned that testing would feel absurd. You no longer need to test yourself on what is 2 plus 2, right? That would be silly. With commitment and focus, your musical skills are going to slip into that same zone of unconscious competence, where you just know it so deeply that you won't even think about whether or not you know it. As an educator, I know the importance of testing to build your confidence. And I'm excited to show you the new quiz app I've developed for StudyBase. I soft launched this a couple of months ago, and I've been working out some of the bugs, so you may have noticed a few changes, but you haven't seen its full glory yet. The original quiz app was only text questions, and I always wanted the quizzes to do a lot more than that. So I've coded a much more sophisticated quiz app that, in addition to text-based questions, the new app can present questions with images, audio, and fretboards. That means you will now be tested on identifying visual elements such as music notation symbols, identifying musical elements such as rhythms and note patterns by listening to audio clips, and identifying note patterns on the bass fretboard using the interactive study bass fretboards. If you want to take a quiz without disturbing anybody nearby, you can always select to take a silent quiz, which will exclude any of the audio questions. And yes, supporters, you can include these new quizzes into your My Practice practice routines. Now, bear with me, these quizzes are not easy to make. I'll be adding these new richer quizzes a few at a time. For each quiz, I make a pool of about 20 to 30 questions with answers and supporting details. And depending on the type of question and its answers, each one can take two minutes to 30 minutes to create. So for the existing lessons, I estimate about 500 more hours of work. And naturally, everything always takes twice as long as I expect, but I really hope it won't be a thousand. Now, you can't imagine how much work goes on behind the scenes here, but I'll be adding this quiz development task to all of that as well. And you'll be excited to know that there's several other projects like this that I'm working on. So I hope these new quizzes lead to the development of your confidence and our ultimate goal to make music.